tell the time. Will you learn it with me? In this video, we're going to make a clock like this. There will be lots more videos about time. So make sure you subscribe to learn it all. To make a clock, you will need two circles of cards that are the same size. Best to use different colours. Two arrows, one long one and one short one. We cut our house out of different coloured cards again. We lead the numbers up to 12 out of different coloured cards. Actually, we made our numbers out of foam. And we need a split pin. Get an adult to cut a small hole in the middle with both of the circles. Just like this one here. Then, use the one as your favourite colour. Ask an adult to cut 12 doors into it. Like this on here. <laughs> Glue on the back of the green bit of card, but make sure you don't glue the doors. Otherwise you'll stick them down forever. Stick the orange bit of card on the green bit of card. Like that. And then it should look like this. Now we need to stick the hour numbers on top of the doors. Clocks are funny because they start at 12. That's the number that goes at the top. I'm going to find number 12. After 12, the next hour is 1. Now the numbers go back up in order until we get to 12 again. After one, we have two. Next is number three. And four. Mm, no, I forgot. 60. 60. So, 
this minute hand tells us the minutes, but when it goes all the way round, back up to there, it has to have done 60 minutes, but what's the number? 12. 12. So we 12 need to... numbers. Yeah, so the yellow hand, every time it goes to the next number, that's another five minutes. So that would be five, look. And then 10. Okay. And then 15. Okay. It's five more minutes each time it goes to the next number. So that's what we're going to write underneath the doors. We're going to write the minutes because that's its secret meaning. There were five minutes for each number on the hours. For this bit, it's good to count in fives. I made a video to show you how to do that. Check that out. This will help me remember to how to count in fives. That's because there are five fingers on each hand. One of them's a thumb, but we call it a finger anyway. So what's the first one? Five. Okay, write five behind door number one then, because that's its secret identity. The first one is five. What's the next one then, Dougie? What's five more? Ten. The next one then? What's five more than ten? Fifteen. Next? 20. Okay, good lad. Next. What's five more than 20? Two and a five. 25. Next. 30. Next then. 35. Okay. 40. Okay. 45. Yeah, yeah. 50. 55, 60. That's good because we got up to 60 and that's how many is in an hour. That's how many minutes is in an hour. That means we must be done. Now I've got my clock made, I can learn how to tell the time. When the small hour hand is pointed to something, look at list number one with one. But if the big minute hand is pumped into it, we look at the secret number one beneath. Behind number six is the secret number 30. All of the hour numbers have secret minute numbers behind them. So remember guys, if the small hand is pumped into it, you look at the number on the outside. When the big hand is pointing to it, you look at the secret number underneath. I hope you had a good time watching this. That's funny because it's all about time. Time for me to clock off. See ya.